What's up guys? It is new laser day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the cool things that the Xtool F1 Ultra has inside of it. Everything that makes it so special and why it is that you need to go and buy this thing right now. The x F1 Ultra is the world's first 20 watt fiber and 20 watt diode Galvo dual laser. The real exciting part about this laser is that it can engrave stainless steel, aluminum, brass, silver, plastic, platinum, titanium, gold, wood, acrylic, leather, glass, rock, paper, scissors, rubber, and even food. There are not many desktop lasers similar to this style and design that can compete with the variety of things that this laser can do. And it doesn't just surface engrave, it can get a nice deep engraving. In reference to its size, it's about 10 inches by 14 inches by 20 inches. The working area of the F1 Ultra is 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters, but if you have the automatic conveyor, it's 220 by 500 millimeters. This guy is a lot bigger than its predecessor, and it comes in at 32.4 pounds. And if I remember correctly, the original F1 was somewhere around 8 to 10 pounds. It can be carried around from side to side, but I wouldn't recommend throwing it up in the air at all. What's great about this machine is that it has the largest working area of its kind. None of the other lasers in this category have the capacity that this laser does. And that's before you even start working with the auto conveyor. What I personally really like about this machine is that it has a touch screen that shows you exactly which job that you're working on. And just on a personal note, it makes me feel like I'm using something from the future. With the touch screen, you can store your project files and you can achieve online processing, which means you can disconnect from your laptop and work solely from the touchpad. This particular engraving took a lot because I was cutting metal. So what you have to do is double tap that and it'll go again and again and again all day. It moves at 10,000 millimeters per second. It is supported by an intelligent path planning program and it's got an autofocus system with the camera but it also still has the manual focus where you can use the two dots and as long as they're overlapping that means you're in focus. And speaking of the camera, the F1 Ultra also is equipped with a 16 megapixel camera. That makes it perfect for batch engraving. Okay, so now that I've got all of my keychains laid out, I'm just gonna go into my program, take each individual file and lay it perfectly centered on each keychain so that the moment I hit engrave, I can just batch out eight keychains like that. And just like that, I have eight little products that I can probably get $4 each out of and make $32 in total for five minutes of work. And if I need to do more than eight, that's where the auto conveyor comes in. Man, I gotta tell you, when I saw this thing straight out of the box, I was super intimidated and I set it aside as the last thing that I was gonna test, but it turned out to be extremely easy. It's plug and play. You plug it straight into the machine. You go into your settings and select auto conveyor in the mode option. And then you just put your file in and it engraves. That is the end of it. That's all it takes. What's also really cool about it is that you can switch the mode back to flat surface mode, put stuff directly on your auto conveyor and just get back to engraving. You don't have to separate the conveyor from the machine. And like I said before, if you have this accessory, your engraving area is 220 by 500 millimeters. So this thing is a pretty great investment. This system pairs perfectly with the Extol Air Purifier. If you had this system inside of your house and you didn't want to take your hose and vent it straight out into your yard like I do, you've got this smoke purifier option that is compatible with your Extol F1 Ultra and your S1. So that's cool. And just like all of Extol's other lasers, it is compatible with your RA2 Pro. This machine is also compatible with their button and foot pedal accessories. So if you're kicked back scrolling TikTok and you wanna just tap with your foot to start an engraving, you can do that. I love the new Xtool Creative Space. It is made for dummies like me. You can put all of your individual material settings into the program, but it has tons of presets in here that are made specially so I can click a button, throw it in there, and go. It works perfectly on all of the materials that I would be using. I don't really have to go Google search or ask a friend what settings they use because the program has it set for me. So I know it probably feels like I rushed through all of the specs, but I kind of did. I wanted to give you exactly what you needed to know, and now we're gonna get deep into materials testing. 
Because both lasers have a 20 watt power, the F1 Ultra can not only engrave and cut, but also perform deep engraving on metals, 3D emboss on wood and metals, and even cut thin metal pieces. So to help you fully understand how cool this laser actually is, this is an old engraving I did on a metal card scraper with a 2 watt IR laser from the original x F1. The laser that engraves metal in this machine is 10 times more powerful. So let's do the exact same image on the exact same card, but with this laser. I clicked engrave thinking I could get my phone up quick enough. It took seven seconds to get this engraving that is not just a surface level etching, but is an actual deep engraving. You can see when I changed the angle that it's actually engraved into the metal as opposed to just colorizing the surface. After I did that first engraving with recommended settings from Xtool, I tweaked those settings just a little bit to see if I could get a deeper, blacker engraving. The first one I tried looked pretty similar, but the second one I did was darker all around. Just based on this little experiment here, I know for a fact that the Ultra is gonna be in high demand for making jewelry and stuff like that. Being a woodworker and having engraved a ton of wood in my time, I was actually really excited to get into engraving the metals. I started by cutting this thin metal business card, which I thought was awesome. I made a little saw blade, you know, a little woodworking weapon. After that, I moved on to deep engraving, and I engraved my kids' initials into this stainless steel necklace, which is my new favorite accessory. After that, I wanted to try to use this laser to etch something with a little bit finer detail. So I engraved this floral print onto this metal bookmark, and I really, really liked the way it came out. As a case study comparison for my old lasers, I went back to the Old Faithful and engraved one of these metal business cards, because I've done those in the past, and the job got done quicker and it came out crispier than ever before. After that, I engraved these slate coasters. I haven't really done a whole lot of slate, but I really like the way it looks after they're done. For this test, I'm using a small scrap of leatherette I got from Hyde Bond. I used to use these garbage Amazon patches. They've been so inconsistent for me that I've just completely stopped using them. I've got a ton of this stuff from Hyde Bond and it has literally never failed me. The consistency of cut and the patch adhesion alone is a reason for you to switch to this stuff. The engraving was a little bit dirty from the smoke because I didn't have the lid closed, obviously for filming purposes, but after wiping it down with a wet rag, you can see how crispy and clean it actually is. If your goal is to specialize in cutting materials, you're gonna throw your black cutty table thingy into the inside of your laser. Your maximum cutting thickness for acrylic is 12 millimeters. For basswood, it's 12 millimeters, but it can reach up to 15 millimeters, which if you push it to that limit, you might burn your piece a little bit. This new laser has something that I've actually never seen before, and you can almost use your laser as a CNC by using files that are called depth images. All you have to do is set your laser into embossment mode, input your recommended settings, and let that thing run. It takes a ton of passes to accomplish this goal, and you can see as I make those passes, parts and pieces of this dragon design coming to the forefront. It does take a while, but when you're done engraving, you're left with this really, really cool result. In reference to safety, the F1 Ultra, just like the F1, has this awesome cover that protects your eyes and keeps all of the smoke inside of the unit so you really don't come into contact with anything that the laser is doing. And if you want a little bit of extra power to pump the smoke out of your system, they also sell this smoke purifier which is compatible with the machine as well. Let's talk about money. If you wanted to buy the Xtool F1 Ultra right now, just by itself, it is $39.99. If you want the Ultra plus the conveyor feeder, it's $43.99. And if you happen to want the deluxe bundle, which includes the F1 Ultra, the conveyor feeder, the RA2 Pro, and the smoke purifier, it's gonna be $51.99. Now, I know that's a big hefty price tag, but like I said, this guy is a business in a box. There are many, many, many other businesses with a heftier price tag than that just to get started in. If you're interested in this laser and wanna support my channel, you can click my affiliate link down in the description and purchase it that way and I'll get a little bit of kickback. If you watched this video and thought to yourself, man, that was so good, how can I give this guy money to repay him? Then you're in luck. I have a lot of stuff listed on my Etsy store that you can buy to support the channel. So head on over to reformationwoodshop.etsy.com to grab something.